before you reach Besija's gate less than 50 meters away, you meet armed and riot policemen who are manning two roadblocks. No cars were allowed to enter or leave the compound. A police pickup is parked right outside the gate of Dr. Besija's Kasangati residence, all with an aim to ensure that the FDC leader does not come out to take part in the walk-to-work -work protests. But inside the residence, Besija was defiant dismissing the claims by police that the work to work protesters were out to overthrow the government through unconstitutional means. The requirement is that they should test that evidence in court, not to go to the newspapers and campaign with the evidence without presenting it to the court for a test to see whether it's a viable evidence or not. Small consultation with them. Besija, who was slated to continue with the work to work protest, waited for his lawyers for the better part of the morning to consult them over police actions. Could you thought about that? At around 12 30 p.m., Besija got out of his gate for the first time today to welcome his lawyer. Dr. Kiza Besija is now consulting his lawyer, but it's not clear what will happen after that, since Besija says he will go to town by all means to ensure that he finishes his business. But as you can see in the background, the police is on the lookout to ensure that he does not leave his premises. Before the end of the consultations, the human rights officials also paid a visit to Besija's home to establish the reason he was not allowed to leave his home. The law enforcers insist they were only out to ensure law and order, especially as all level candidates continue with their examinations. And soon or later, he will be left to walk to his freedom. But I don't think whether that soon, that soon may not be tomorrow. After a downpour, Besija attempted to leave his home with his lawyer but was blocked by police. I don't mind. I have which... told you I'm here to tell you to go back and remain there. I don't want to repeat that statement. <laughs> go back and rest there. You will not leave this place either on vehicle or by foot. The constitution gives police mandate to preventively arrest someone, but according to Besija's lawyer David Impanga, it does not stop a person from accessing his compound or premises, for instance, the farm in Besija's case. I understand you are already spoiling my compound because there are no, there are no toilets here, public toilets. <laughs> if you want to ease yourself, go to the police station and ease yourself there. For now, it's not clear when the police will allow Bestia to step out of his compound. Sidil Biarhanga, NTV.